And welcome back to Malaysia here, 29 we well, 2019 World Cup, I should say. We are over on field six now, and this is a match I'm really looking forward to. A couple of local countries, Singapore and Malaysia, eh, taking each other on in the men's 40s division here. It's Malaysia in the red strip, Singapore in the black. So always great to see the home sides playing in front of their family and friends as the Malaysian men's 40 side are doing here. Nice crowd over in the field six direction. So we see Singapore, they're attacking the line. First set, they go the low dive, try to get under. Now the referee is talking to the Malaysian players and he's going to back up into the spot here and award the touchdown. So it is Singapore who score first. And I can only presume that there might have been players called offside there from Malaysia. So we just got word as well come through after our last match. As we sort of mentioned quite a few times, the heat and humidity here today in Malaysia, or this part of Malaysia in particular, we're sitting up around 31 degrees, but the humidity is quite high. And as a result, the tournament directors have made an announcement that there will be drinks breaks included into the matches now. So, right call, good call there from the tournament staff, looking after the player safety in these extremely hot conditions. So around the 10 minute mark, you might hear a different, uh, or a hooter sound, I should say. Obviously, regular touch football matches go for 20 minutes. Uh, there will be a break around the 10 minute mark. We'll give the opportunity for the players and also the referees. We mustn't forget the referees are doing it tough out there as well. It gives them a chance to, to grab a quick drink. As the uh, Singapore side Turn the ball over to Malaysia. Uh, incorrect roll ball. Not facing square was the call from the referee. So you need to be facing your try line in a square roll ball position. You can't be facing sideways towards your substitution box. So pulled up from the referees. And Malaysia have turned the ball over themselves. Gives the ball back to Singapore here. They're just taking their time to get themselves set. They've got touches up the sleeve and they've got a, a two-on-one, three-on-two, I should say. Creates a two-on-one. They get their second touchdown of the tournament. And that was nicely executed there from Singapore. And it comes off the mistake made again from Malaysia coming out of their end of the field. So Malaysia will get us back underway now. Tapping off at the halfway line. We've got to make mention of the fields out here. It's an equestrian centre traditionally. The fields here at Putrajaya. But tremendous playing conditions for our players. From uh, local reports, there's been quite a bit of rain in the lead up to the tournament and that's just made for perfect green lush conditions as Malaysia they look to go on the outside edge and touch made so Singapore they scramble nicely but first chance there for the home side and almost results in a touchdown Singapore they are driving out of there and in the field quite nicely now just throw that extra looping ball slowed them down a little bit, took a little bit of sting out of their play, but they're back on to it now, driving in nicely. Turn the Malaysian defence around. It's going to be a penalty as a result. Just couldn't recover in defence there, the Malaysians. So David Ogilvy, number 14 for Malaysia, is in the middle of the field with I go. And number 15, he's just coming up out of the defensive line now, nice and slowly. But they've opened up again here, Malaysia, but they turn it back on the inside. Now, the ball goes down. 
They had a look, they had numbers out here on this left hand side. Oh, they turn the ball over, takes the foot off the throat for this set of six anyway for Malaysia. And they're just rucking their way up through the middle of the field. And they look to shift it out wide now. Last touch. And they're happy just to, to burn that one and change it over. Singapore, they have looked dangerous coming out of their end of the field. And they received the ball and they already crossed the halfway line. As they make some substitutions now, they come onto the field. Singapore again, looking dangerous, but they just run into each other there, a little bit lost. They recover their attacking line now, but the referee again, so another incorrect roll ball. That's two for Singapore. So, uh, it, area of their game, coaching staff I'm sure will be looking to adjust. Two incorrect roller balls, not facing square. But Malaysia doing it really tough to get out of their end of the field at the moment. They're walking, like nice little dish pass, got them an extra couple of metres. Just work back in the middle of the field at the moment, but not too many options here for them. They're happy to throw the ball around. They're not really making any progressive momentum as a result. And they turn the ball over. So let's see how Singapore work their way out of the field here. They're away from their substitution box at the moment and lose their way a little bit. So Anthony Kwon. He's the number one for Singapore. And just looking to ruck down the sideline and change their point of attack up. They haven't really gone down that left-hand side too often, the Singapore team. They turn the ball over as a result. They just lost their way a little bit. This gives the Malaysian team an opportunity, but they've thrown the ball away as well. They had numbers on the outside there. So here they come again. They're going to go to the opposite side this set. Again, making substitutions. Those watching at home haven't seen a lot of touch football. You will notice in the frequency of the substitutions that get made. Nice ball movement again. That's their third touchdown. Singapore. So they go back to that favoured side. And they've had some value down their right hand edge. They create a nice little overlap and nice ball movement. Sees them get their third. I'm sure they'll be one of the sides to keep an eye out, the Singapore team. Just having a look through their list. There's a couple of expat names that look prevalent but nice uh, spattering of, of home players as well so some of the influence of some of the, the traveling Aussies Kiwis English that make their way to Singapore it's had an influence on the sport there and they've done a, a great job to get teams to the World Cup again but their local competitions uh, are going quite well as well and it's great to see our great sport is being played in a number of countries. 22 countries in total at the World Cup this year. 117 teams. That's an increase as well from the 2019, uh, 2015 World Cup, I should say, that was held in Coffs Harbour. And I'm sure the players that attended 
in the World Cup in Coffs Harbour are happy to see, although it's extremely hot. But at least the sun is shining. Unfortunately, the, the weather the weather gods, as you can hear the hooter. So as mentioned just earlier in the broadcast, we will stop for a quick drinks break. The heat policy has been enforced today, all these opening matches. So both teams will head their way to the substitution box. So grab a quick drink. We might take this opportunity just to quite take a quick break ourselves, refresh, rehydrate, and we'll be back with the second quarter very shortly. And we are back here now. Uh, second quarter, not too far from getting underway. Everyone's taking the chance to get the fluids back in. So you'll notice as well when the quarter hooter is sounded, play will resume from where the play did finish in that previous end to the quarter. So Malaysia, they resume. Attacking the Singapore line here. The touch count will remain the same as well. So you'll see it's a fifth touch now. And they're going to get another set of six here. Singapore winger just getting his hands onto the ball. Probably didn't need to given it was the fifth touch. Didn't look like there was too much happening there for Malaysia. So it gives the Malaysian side another six touches. See if they can create something here. Haven't no, they turned the ball over. Looks like there's a little bit of confusion between the players and the referee. Couldn't quite see what the signal was from the referees. But it's a changeover regardless. Singapore. Rucking nicely down the field. Probably been one of the main differences between these two sides. Nice touch made there, but players offside. So another set of six here for Singapore. So you'll just see the, the middle attackers here working together. They come back off the grain, they go the low dive, but nice defence. So the two middles working nicely together there. Brett Smythe is the number eight. And Grant Adamson as well. They're in the middle for the home team. Yeah, Singapore. Just lost their way with the play a little bit there. Now they try to create a sweep of play now. And they do. They look to come back to that right-hand side again. The last pass is Waywood. Daniel Fitzpatrick couldn't connect with his outside right winger. And a little bit of a juggle. They hold on to the ball. 
Uh, they might have turned it over. No, it's a penalty here. So, Dolcetti, been lucky to get away with that. Now, they've turned the ball over in the end. Knock on in the play. So I didn't quite see the play myself. I just looked down to have a look at the team sheet here as we see a little bit of a juggle. So Reese Clark having a little bit of a fumble, holds on to the ball. And yeah, the last play from Malaysia, just couldn't quite see. And looked up in the referee indicating that the ball's down. So they go right again, but turned over. So Reese Clark. Creating a chance there for Singapore. Turn the ball over. Again, it's that right-hand side. And they've found quite a lot of value so far. Singapore. So uh, a loose roll ball. And are lucky to get away with that one. Now it's opened up here a little bit for Malaysia. And touch made, Freed Aziz. Almost a chance for him there. He's got a little bit sluggish in defence uh, on that occasion. Singapore almost created the chance. Malaysia. They pop back on the inside. Singapore on the attack again. Another juggle and nice touch. So it makes them go back to the mark. It just takes their momentum out of the play as well. So Rollinson, or Rollinson, I should say, is with the ball. Drives out again to the right. They go that short side again. It's opened up for them. And again, another try. I think it might have been... All four of the tries or touchdowns, I should say, for the Singapore side have come down that right-hand edge. So the coaching staff for Malaysia, it's definitely something that they'll need to address at half-time, but it might not be able to wait that long as the players are... Working that way off and coming into the substitution box, the coaching staff probably need to get a message out there. That we need to tighten up that left-hand side. This looks like the outside players there on the left edge. They just keep creeping their way in. It's creating quite easy two-on-one or three-on-two overlaps for Singapore. And they're getting success every time they come down that end of the field. Malaysia now, they go back on the inside. There's a bit of a juggle, a bit of a roll, a bit of a dive. The boys give each other a high five, all good. So nice running there as well. So it's just those extra couple of metres that they seem to get is really giving them no more the momentum to continue on. So Anthony Quan was the number one. A couple of touches ago that really got Singapore side on the front foot. They come to this right hand side again in the corner. That's number five. Again still just not finding a way to shut them down at the moment. The Malaysian side. And the score line starting to get away from them early. We're in the second quarter of this men's 40s fixture between Singapore and Malaysia. It is Singapore leading five at touchdowns to nil. So Malaysia... With the ball again. It's only been a couple of half chances for them so far in the match. It's Adamson, he turns back on the inside. They've turned it. They've turned it down, though. No, and the referee is, I think, just getting the Singapore side to roll the ball on the correct mark. 
They're doing that now. So they're coming down the left-hand side of the field in this set. And something we haven't seen them do too often. They kick away now. They've got them on the back foot here, Malaysia. They're going to head right again. It's been held on to. Nice hands. They go short. And they've turned the ball over. So Grant Rollinson, he got himself into half, juggled the ball, did well to hold on to it. And they had numbers again down the right side. The ball couldn't connect. They turned the ball over, Singapore. And Malaysia, this is a little bit better. They've got some extra metres coming out of their half. And another ball down there. Adamson is turning it over. And no doubt as well, the hot conditions, that obviously produces larger amounts of sweat from the players. And that's going to create a slippery football from time to time as well as Singapore... They get their six. And result, as you can see, with the really hot conditions and the whole Malaysian defensive side came off. And it brings another six players back onto the field. So only six players on the field at one time. There's eight substitutions per team. So a total number of 14 players in both sides. As we've taken the intercept, there's a juggle now. No one chasing it home. He's going to go the whole way. Now there is a little bit of a chase coming here. Can he peek him back? Great effort to never give up on the play. The halftime Huda goes in the background. So it was Stephen Bates who picked that intercept off. Nice chasing effort, but was never going to get there, unfortunately. And it's Singapore who go into the halftime break in this opening at men's 40s match. They lead seven touchdowns to nil over the home country, Malaysia. And we'll be back with the second half of this men's 40s match very shortly.
And we're back underway, second half here, men's 40s between Malaysia and Singapore. Singapore really in charge of this match. It's 7-0 currently on the scoreboard. The Malaysian team looking to try to get advantage of being down this end of the field. But again, just a wayward pass. Sees them turn the ball over, and they're protesting a little bit here. They might have thought the Singapore side might have got their hands on the ball, but not called from the referee. As a result, Singapore, they get the ball back, and they're really turning the screws here. They put the footwork down on this outside. They're throwing it back on the inside. That's a really nice try from the Singapore team, and it's more of the same here for them in this second half. A little bit of work on the right-hand edge again. I've said it a thousand times in the first half. This, all of their tries have been coming from the right-hand side. Good turn of speed there from the right winger. And he connects up nicely back on the inside. So it's a really important facet of touch football is to make sure that you are available in support on the inside. And that was the case. Malaysia turned the ball over again here. Touch and pass is the call from the referee. So first touch here and they're already in an attacking position, Singapore. They go the wraparound play, give the ball now. A good defence, that slowed the ruck up. They're probably a little bit too close to the line to get a quick roller ball. And they come out to the left-hand side this time. Nice to see them change the uh, point of attack up a little bit. They had some nice wraparound plays in that set as well. Singapore, and they get their second try for the second half. And they're really bumping it out now. 9-0 is the score. We're really willing at the Malaysian team to get an opening touchdown for the match. I'm sure the home fans would really love to see one. So they're just making their way through the middle of the field at the moment. It's nice and easy as you go. They're still holding on to the football. 
I've got to try to manipulate the Singapore defence here in some capacity. I have a sweep of play around and want to get underneath. That's closer than what it looks, but the referee, he's coming back to the mark. He's going to give a penalty away. Looks like it might have been a vigorous touch there from Singapore in the previous roll ball. The referee's just going to tell them they've just got to go back into the middle of the field. So, yeah, it was actually in the previous roll ball by the look of it. And the referee did a good job to play the advantage to see if Malaysia got it. When they continued on, they didn't score the try. That was really close in the end. And they come back and they get the penalty and they get six more touches. So they're wrapping around here a little bit. They go over the top. Does he get down low? Touch made. So it's two chances now for Malaysia. This is a little bit better from them. They come short side. Oh, they almost had numbers as well. If you didn't get your hands in there, they had three on two. So now they're starting to ask the question. This is better. And it's their ball movement. That's probably been the highlight for the Malaysian team so far in this match. They have moved the football around. they just got to get a little bit of a running game at the same time. Here we go. They go from half. They go back onto the inside. Real defence from Singapore. They stay strong. Last touch is the call as well from the on-field referee. So we're going to have to try to create a quick play. A trick play, I should say, or something. Now they've got them on the back foot a little bit, but they cover in defence. Now, my apologies as well. I did call this last touch, but it looks like it might be the fourth touch now. Singapore players need to move forward off the line. They're doing that. It's fifth touch now. And a lost assignment there. Outside attacking right link there. I think the dummy half are looking for him to stay on the outside to try to create that overlap. Right, switch back on the inside. The ball goes to ground as a result. And this is probably just the difference between the two sides at the moment, as you can see. Singapore, when they get the ball back from a set from Malaysia, as they fire a nice ball out here, right to left, connects up nicely. Yeah, as I was just mentioning, as they get the ball back after their defensive set, you can just see the difference in intent as they get the ball there. Their ruck speed is quite impressive and they end up getting down the other end of the field quite easily. And as a result, that's putting them into good attacking positions to try and get more touchdowns against this Malaysian defence. What it does as well, the speed of the game, it just constantly puts the defence on the back foot. It's quite hard to recover once you create half an opportunity, getting on the outside of one man and then putting defence, defensive pressure and making it the defence make decisions and options in defence. That's when they start coming in, creating those three-on-two, two-on-one situations. And Singapore have done a great job of creating that in this match. So another turnover here from Malaysia. And that looks like it's going to be over the mark. It is. So a little bit of crafty play there. Just getting in behind the player. So it can be risky at times. That play, if the referee deems it the Attacking player gets the ball down on the mark and you are behind them as a defensive player and they call play on. There's a lot of distance that you've got to cover to try to get yourself back onto the onside position. But in that instance, they did a good job, Malaysia. And caught the Singapore players napping there. So they went over the mark again. Nice ball movement. But the defence as well has been quite a strong point for Singapore. The ball movement from Malaysia has been quite good at times and they've been able to manipulate the Singapore defence. We see a change over here. And they might have gone over the mark. No, I think it might have been a forward pass off the ruck called from the referee. So a couple of turnovers in their last two sets from Singapore. Apart from 
those couple of blemishes in this match. They've been pretty good throughout this opening men's 40s match. The ball looked to get batted on there, but no connection. We just wasn't too sure whether the ball was for him or a cutout. Looked to bat it on. They've turned it over. Singapore again here in the middle of the field. They give nice early ball from half, but that's good scramble defence from Malaysia. But can they double up again? Does he make contact in the touch? No, he doesn't. Another touchdown to Singapore. They didn't do too bad in the previous set. No, oh, the previous touch, I should say. They came in to shut that one down, but just again, as soon as you make that touch, you really need to be on your toes turn around and get back to your try line to try to recover for the next play and they couldn't quite do that there Malaysia so back underway 11-0 is the current score Singapore Leading over our host nation here in Malaysia. Now the intercept taken from Singapore. It's just looking down at my notes and uh, look back up and streaking down the field. So. The Hooter goes in the background again. That's going to be our next drinks break. So third quarter comes to an end. Singapore right in control of this match. We'll be back with the uh, last quarter of this match in, a short, in just a short time. We're back underway here, last quarter in the uh, men's 40s match. It's Singapore with the ball now in the red shirts. I might say it is Malaysia in the red uniforms. They have the ball. Singapore in the black defending at the moment. Let's play on here. Now if they can hold the ball and get it out. Oh, they just couldn't quite get there. One of the Singapore defenders screamed up out of the line. It's Malaysia didn't have a, a dummy half. They're going to get another six touches here. Yeah, signal from the referee now. So 
So yeah, as I was just, just mentioning in the previous play, they didn't have a dummy half in position there, Malaysia. One of the Singapore players shot up out of the line. The Malaysian player managed to pick up the ball and get it out quickly and created a half overlap for them. And they couldn't capitalise off that. But the very next play, throw back on the inside. Singapore got their hands on it. Gives six more touches. Ooh, a little bit of contact there and a half-raised elbow. Referee's happy for it to play on. Nice pop play. Here it is. Can they get their hope? No, no. They've dropped it over the line. Oh, that's heartbreaking from the Malaysian side. That was a try. A touchdown, I should say, for all money. Beautiful ball movement. We got that overlap on the out, out uh, on that right-hand edge. And unfortunately, the last pass just couldn't stick. If he holds on to that, he's going to plan it. No problems at all to get their first touchdown of the tournament. Uh, it's really unfortunate for Malaysia that they do deserve a, a touchdown and they haven't had a, a couple of chances gone begging when they've been attacking the Singapore line. But that was the golden chance for them to get their duck egg off the scoreboard. But it remains there at the moment. 11-0 is the score in Singapore. They're back on the attack again. But the referee is going to pull them back. Hold out and they'll play the ball and get us back underway. So they're just steady as she goes at the moment. He's just going through the middle of the field. Nice, easy rucks. And throw the ball away. Couldn't connect up there. David Ogilvy. Number 14 for Malaysia. And it looks like they're really doing it tough out there now. On the Malaysian side, this heat doesn't look like dropping off any time soon. Singapore, although playing in the same conditions, quite hot. They haven't really had to exert themselves too much. Nice bit of footwork there and speed. Gets on the outside and plants the ball down. And Grant Rawlinson gets another touchdown for Singapore. He's been one of their best in this match, Rawlinson. He's got a couple of uh, touchdowns himself, but he's also looked good uh, with ball in hand. A couple of try assists in the bank as well from Rawlinson. Malaysia, get us back underway. Really hoping that they can get a, a touchdown in this last quarter. They deserve one, and it'd just be a good little bit of momentum for them going into their next match. There's definitely a few things that they can work on, and it's probably just items like that, just pushing that extra pass. The support players just aren't aware that it's heading in their direction. Sometimes it's just easier to hold on to the football, get it down on the ground, get a little bit of momentum, try to increase your running game as much as possible and get on with the next play. As Singapore, they're doing a bit of that at the moment. They just take the time to pull back, gives their attacking side a chance to reset. They run out to the left edge. They look to go short. That's good defense. That's a really good touch made there. Good read. You can see it was coming into the middle. And the left middle for Malaysia came in. They've just thrown the ball. No, referee's going to call this one forward. Yes, yeah, uh, leaping back to that previous play. How important it is, particularly for those middle defenders. To come in and support uh, their other defender or their middle defence when they get stretched across the field. They throw that ball on the inside. You really got to be there to cover. And that was perfect defence on that previous set from the Malaysian team. 
So just looking to support here, it's fifth touch. I'm just going over the halfway line. And they're going to turn the ball over. So couldn't get too many metres on that last set. Yeah, Singapore, let's see if they make them pay. You can just see the difference between the two running games, but they've turned the ball over themselves. And the referee's going to pull this one up over the mark. And they look to go straight away. There's just absolutely nobody in front, no one at home again for Malaysia. So that's unfortunately not a good sign. And penalty was given to Singapore. They just took the quick tap and the uh, Malaysian players, I think, are really struggling with fatigue at the moment. They had backs turned. It's one of the key fundamentals in defence. You really need to make sure you're facing your attacking opponents to see. Quick tap made straight through the middle and another touchdown to Singapore. So there'll be plenty of live stream matches being brought to you at this year's World Cup. And next time slot, women's 35s will be on field six again. This is the same field that Singapore play Malaysia at the moment. And it will be the Australians taking on Europe. So a combination of players from across Europe coming together to get a team into the women's 35s division, which is great to see. Oh, bit of contact and some geriatrics as well from Singapore. We'll give the Academy Award for that last play. Oh, there's a bit of contact there. The referees are right on the spot. Stephen Bates, best up-and-coming actor, taking a little bump there. But they're back on the attack again, Singapore, straight away. As soon as they get their hands on the ball. Now... What's the call here? He must have run out, I believe, yeah. Referee puts his hand up, signalling that he's gone over the sideline. So it'll be Malaysia who will get the ball back. And they'll roll it five metres in from the sideline as well. Nice bit of footwork there. Anthony Korn shooting up out of the line. He's the number one from Singapore. But footwork there. Managed to evade him. Got the extra couple of metres as a result. There you go. They're throwing the ball around again. Malaysia, nice little pop pass out the back. That's the difference. Uh, you get touched on the back. Whitburn making the touch for Singapore. Forces the Malaysian player to go back onto the mark. Nice little show and go. Does he get under? Yes. Oh, touch made. Now quite far away from the field so I think he might actually be a bit short of the touchdown line so in that result the touch has been called geez if they were just a little bit closer to the try line there that would have seen them got their opening try The uh, full time Huda goes in the background, and it's a comprehensive win in this men's 40s match to Singapore over our host nation, Malaysia. Really impressive win for Singapore. One to watch by the looks of it in the men's 40s division. We're not too far away from our women's 35 match. It is the Australians taking on Europe out here on Field 6. We'll be back with that match in just under five minutes' time.